what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the values of x for which 1 all over x or raised to the x is equal to 4 to the x plus 1 all over 16. Well, our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices to the left hand side. So the law of indices which says when I have a over b all raised to the n, this is same as a to the n all over b to the n. But what I have here is 1. So the law of indices also says when I have 1 all over b, all raised to the n, this is same as 1 all over b to the n. Because even when you raise 1 to a power, let's say n, it is still the same 1. So whatever power you raise 1, you're going to be having the same result, which is 1. So now let's apply this law of indices to what we have here. So that means this expression on the left can be written as 1 all over x to the x equal to, now what I have on the right hand side is 4 to the x plus 1 all over 16. Now our next step will be for us to apply another law of indices to the right hand side which says when I have a to the x plus y this is same as a to the x times a to the y so let's apply this to what we have here so we're going to be having 1 all over x to the x to be equal to now this becomes 4 to the x times 4 to the 1 all over 16 good now our next step will be for us to make the left hand side unity which means to make it one and how do i do that it is simply by multiplying both sides by x to the x so I'll multiply the left hand side by x to the x. So x to the x times 1 all over x to the x equal to, I'll do the same thing to the right hand side, x to the x times 4 to the x times 4 to the 1 all over 16. Now notice that x to the x can cancel off, leaving behind 1 equal to now on the right hand side i have x to the x times 4 to the x times 4 to the 1 all over 16. now notice that on the right hand side we have common powers of x here right cool so that means we're going to be applying the law of indices which says when i have a for example a to the n times b to the n common powers this is given as a times b to the n that means multiply the base and group them with a common power good so let's apply that here so i'm going to be having one equal to now x times four is four x now group together with a common base of x then times 4 to the 1 all over 16. now let's move forward to the next slide all right now our next step will be for us to isolate the variables and how do i do that it is simply by dividing both sides by 4 to the 1 all over 16. so i'll divide the left hand side by 4 to the 1 all over 16 and I'll divide the right hand side by 4 to the 1 all over 16. Now notice that 
4 to the 1 all over 16 will cancel out. Leaving behind 4x raised to the x to be equal to. Now, on the left hand side, this is actually a law of indices which says when I have 1 all over a to the n, this is same as a to the negative n. So this negative shows a reciprocal or an inverse function. So let's apply this law of indices to what we have here. So that means this expression can be written as 4 to the negative 1 all over 16. Good. Now, our next step will be for us to make the base here and the exponent here to be the same. And we're going to do that by multiplying the exponent by 4 so that we have 4x. And as I multiply the exponent on the right by 4, I'll do the same thing to the left hand side. So I have 4 to the negative 1 all over 16. Remember, I multiply the exponent by 4 equal to, then on the right hand side, this is 4x raised to the x, now multiplied by 4. Now notice that 4 here, 1, 4 into 16 is 4. So I have on the left 4 to the negative 1 all over 4. Equal to, now on the right hand side, I'm going to have 4x all raised to the x times 4 is 4x. All right. Now, let's apply this law of indices to what we have here. I'm going to be changing it from a negative power to a reciprocal like this. So that means these I have on the left can be written as 1 all over 4 to the 1 all over 4. And this is equal to 4x or raised to the 4x. All right. Now, recall the law of indices we applied the other time. The one that says when I have 1 over b or raised to the n, this is equal to 1 all over b to the n. We can actually apply this to what we have here. That means we can write it from this format to this format. So this expression is same as 1 all over 4 all raised to the power, which is 1 all over 4. And this is equal to 4x all raised to the 4x. Do you notice something? The base here and the exponent here are the same. The base here and the exponent here are also the same. So for that reason, we can equate either of them. So you can choose to equate the base. You can also choose to equate the exponents. So let, let's equate any one of them. So we can say 1 all over 4 is equal to 4x. Now to get the value of x, we have to divide both sides by 4. So, 1 all over 4 divided by 4 is equal to, now on the right hand side, I have 4x. I'm also going to be dividing this by 4. Now, notice that 4 can cancel out 4. Now, we have x to be equal to. Now, on the left hand side, you can see that this is a base. And this is also a base, which means they multiply. So I have 1 all over 4 times 4 is 16. So this is a value for x. So x is equal to 1 all over 16. But the question is, is this the only solution for x? The answer is no. Now let's find other solutions for x on the next slide. All right, now from here, we see that the base here and the exponent here are the same. The base here 
and the exponent here are the same. But there is something we need to do on the left hand side. Now, on the left hand side, I can break this 4 into 2 square. So this can be written as 1 all over 2 square. Very good. And remember, this is raised to the 1 all over 4. Equal to the right hand side is 4x all raised to the all raised to the 4x. Now remember that from the law of indices, the one we just applied, so that when I have 1 all over b to the n, this is same as having 1 all over b all raised to the n, right? So we can apply this law of indices to what we have here. That means this expression can be 1 all over 2 all raised to the 2. And remember that this is raised to a power of 1 over 4. So let's raise this expression to 1 all over 4. Equal to the right hand side we have 4x all raised to the 4x. Now from the law of indices, powers multiply. So when I have a to the n, and this is raised to another power of m, this is equal to a to the powers multiply, n times m, which gives nm. So as powers multiply, you see that 2 here is 1, 2 here gives what? 2. So that I have 1 all over 2 raised to the remaining power here is 1 over 2. And this is equal to the right hand side 4x all raised to the 4x. Now notice once more that the base and the exponent are the same on the left. The base and the exponent are the same on the right. So which means we can equate. So 1 over 2 is equal to 4x. And in order to get the value of x, I'll be dividing both sides by 4. So 1 over 2 divided by 4 is equal to 4x divided by 4. So we see that 4 can cancel out, leaving behind x to be equal to now, this is a denominator, and this also is a denominator, which means they multiply. So, 1 all over 2 times 4 gives 8. So, the value of x we have is also 1 all over 8. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.